Excuse me. Hello and welcome to Let's Play a brand new game. I figured that uh, with with Soldier of Fortune taking so long to come out each episode because we have a lot of trouble with uh, Commando and I getting commentary together so I thought I'd play something single player and why not Deus Ex. You can't even read it because the resolution's too high but anyway it's a good sign of things to come so let's start with the menu here and we're going to start a new game on hard mode because I am a fucking pro. I tell you what. Alright, so when you start a new game in Deus Ex, you're given a skill list, which you are not given in any of the sequels to this series. So, in these skills, these rather uh, RPG-like skills, you're given computer, electronics, environmental training, lock picking, medicine, swimming, and you can read all these, so why am I reading them out? And I'll explain them as we go, rather than explaining them now. So you're given a little uh, explanation as to what each level of the uh, particular skill you are getting will do in a practical sort of way and you've got skill point counter we start each game with 5,000 independently of skill level uh, that is to say the difficulty will not affect how many skill points you get you'll always get 5,000 so what we're gonna do is we're gonna upgrade computer electronics and lock picking what this means is that we will be able to make good efficient use out of our multi-tools and lockpicks, which I will talk about later, and we can also hack into computers. This is all very interesting stuff, and of course, we start with trained pistol every single time we start a new game. You can also change into Black Denton, uh, Hispanic Denton, Redhead Denton, and Ghost Denton, but we're just going to use regular one, and we can type our real name in here. Uh, it can be anything. Even poo, but you know, I'm not gonna do that. Clown, clown, skull will do fine. All right, start the game. Your appointment to FEMA should be finalized within the week. I've already discussed the matter with the senator. I take it he was agreeable. He didn't really have a choice. Has he been infected? Oh yes. Most certainly. When I mentioned that we could put him on the priority list for the Ambrosia vaccine, he was so willing it was almost pathetic. This plague, the rioting is intensifying to the point where we may not be able to contain it. Why contain it? Let it spill over to the schools and churches. Let the bodies pile up in the streets. In the end, they'll beg us to save them. I've received reports of armed attacks on shipments, but there's not enough vaccine to go around, and the underclasses are starting to get desperate. Of course they're desperate. They can smell their death, and the sound they'll make rattling their cage will serve as a warning to the rest. Hmm. I hope you're not underestimating the problem. The others may not go as quietly as you think. Intelligence indicates they're not in the problem. ...them behind long ago. We are the future. We have other problems. UNATCO? Formed by executive order after the terrorist strike on the statue. I have someone in place, though. I'm more concerned about Savage. He's relocated to Vandenberg. Our biochem corpus is far in advance of theirs, as is our electronic sentience. And their ethical inflexibility has allowed us to make progress in areas they refuse to consider. The augmentation project? Among other things, but I must admit that I have been somewhat disappointed in the performance of the primary unit. The secondary unit should be online soon. It's currently undergoing preparation and will be operational within six months. My people will continue to report on its progress. If necessary, the primary will be terminated. We've had to endure much, you and I, but soon there will be order again. A new age. Aquinas spoke of the mythical city on the hill. Soon that city will be a reality, and we will crown its kings. Not better than kings. Alright, welcome to the first level of Deus Ex. Let's have a look at this clown back here. Alrighty. The first thing you would have noticed is that the volume... I spill my drink! I spill my drink! I love that guy. 
Alright. Uh, I'd let the bots do the fighting if I were you. Sure thing, bro. Heads up, JC. Your brother Paul is on his way to meet you at the dock. The NSF is raiding the island and shots have been fired. I repeat, find Paul. I will monitor your situation from HQ. There we go. Just taking out the garbage. Uh, oh no, what the hell is this? The hell is this? Better stay the fuck back, man! I thought you were in Hong Kong. Welcome to the coalition, JC. I might as well start using your code name. Think I'd miss my brother's first day? Didn't think you'd have a choice. What's going on? The NSF. They hit one of our shipments. A few of them got away, but we trapped the rest in the statue. What are we waiting for? Looks like a textbook assault. The NSF took one of our agents hostage. The bots are holding the perimeter, but my orders are to hold back and send you in alone. I think someone high up wants to see how you handle the situation. All I've got with me is a pistol and an electric prod. I don't mind a test, but Yunako better issue some hardware. Remember that we're police. Stick with the prod. It'll stun your opponents or knock them unconscious. A non-lethal takedown is always the most silent way to eliminate resistance. Just in case, though, Manderly wants you to pick an additional weapon. A sniper rifle, a gep gun, or a mini crossbow. Okay. So, uh, welcome to Dialogue Trees in uh, Deus Ex. A uh, very old-school RPG style. Uh, and here we can select which weapon we want to take from our brother Paul. Uh, for the remainder of this mission, and also missions to come, because our inventory will actually uh, roll over into each level, so we're stuck with whatever we get. We can either get the GEP gun, which is uh, essentially a rocket launcher, uh, a sniper rifle, or a crossbow, which will actually shoot tranquilizer darts. We're going to go with the crossbow, uh, just to be a bit sneakier, because Ammo for the get gun will be scarce, and we're completely untrained in uh, rifles, so we're not going to be very good at using it. So we'll go with the crossbow, which is actually a pistol weapon, which we are already trained in. The crossbow. Sometimes you've got to make a silent takedown. Good thinking. With these tranquilizer darts, you'll have another non-lethal way to take down an enemy in addition to the prod. I get the idea. What's the first move? I'm going to give you a map of the island. If you can get to the North Dock, a Unatco informant will give you a key to the statue doors. He responds to the code phrase, iron and copper. You could avoid a lot of fighting, though, if you found a back way to the statue. I'll see how it looks on shore. Your primary objective is the makeshift command center the terrorists have installed at the top of the statue. But don't forget about Agent Harriman. We think he's being held on the ground floor. What are my orders when I reach the command center? Interrogate the leader. We don't yet know why the terrorists would risk an open assault. Okay, so, we'll just put our stuff away, um, if I can remember how, right click, alright, cool. Uh, first things first though, uh, sorry to go into the settings, it's like every time, every time I, uh, see someone go into the settings during an LP, I completely rage, so, I'm a bit hypocritical for that. But I wanted to set running to, uh, automatic toggle. So, alright, here we go. Get crowbar here, and Gordon Freeman style, we can break into these crates that they've conveniently set up. For some binoculars, and a lockpick, which we are now trained in. Good stuff. So, this lockpick is a one-time use thing. We can carry 20 of these in our inventory at once. And, uh, this is used to open locked crates and, uh, doors and shit. But, we'll get to that. Um, Coolio. So if I go into the menu here, we can have a look at our Tetris style inventory, where different weapons take up different amounts of blocks. Uh, it's very, very cool. They don't really do that anymore in games. We have our health system, where each section of our body will actually be hurt independently of the rest. And we can press heal next to all these to increase and blah blah blah. We'll see that later. Good thing, yeah. Orgs, we'll get to that later. Skills, as we've already gone through. And our objectives. So we have primary goals, secondary goals. Our primary goal is to get inside the statue and locate the terrorists. And um, we'll have to interrogate the leader. And we also have secondary goals, which I reckon we should get on to doing. First things first, though. Let's take a little bit of a swim. 
So you might notice that this game running on the Unreal Engine, it's really fucking dark, so... We're given a light orb, which we can activate with F12. You can't rebind it. But that uses bioelectric energy, which you can see in the top left on the left-hand side of the portrait. And what's in this box? A multi-tool. A multi-tool acts the same way as a lockpick does, except it's used for electronic equipment. And a bioelectric cell, which I just picked up, is to replenish the energy that we use by using orbs, which is that bar at the top left that I was talking about. So, uh, the best thing about Deus Ex is actually the sort of freedom that you get when playing. So, if I really wanted to, I could shoot this dove, or seagull, whatever it's meant to be. Poor guy. Oh, that was a good one. Alright, so animal carcass, animal carcass, they don't actually distinguish between carcasses in this game. And uh, objects, when you break them, will just completely disintegrate into nothing. And so will people if you hit them long enough. Let's talk to this guy What's here. your take on the situation, Corporal? The bots have them bottled up, sir. We'd go right in if it weren't for the whole back order. How'd they get one of our agents? Gunter went rogue on us. When the order came, he wouldn't pull back. Now you get to bail him out. So it seems like uh, Agent Herman has sort of gone running in guns blazing and gotten himself captured like a retard, but we'll we'll be talking to him later. Welcome aboard, Agent. Thank you, Corporal Collins. Now if I really wanted to, I could kill Corporal Collins or I could knock him out with a uh, stun prod. And then I'd have to hide his body. Way, I got him, sir. I'd have to hide his body because I'd become an enemy of Yanatko, so we're not going to do that, are we? We can also use these binoculars to zoom in on Paul to see his head clips through his own collar. Well, defective ass binoculars, fuck you. Let's go talk to Paul again. You just gonna stay here? There's been some activity at sea. I'm going to watch the coast. Why'd they bring you back to New York? I don't know what they have planned. I messed up an assassination attempt on one of the triad leaders in Hong Kong. Yunatko pulled you out? It's a long story. You better head to the statue. So, another thing about this game is there's a lot of dialogue, and the story is actually really complex and interesting, just like an RPG. Uh, but it's played in first person, and it does have elements of a shooter. As before, we can shoot not only seagulls, but we can shoot our brother Paul in the back of their head. But he'll get pretty angry and try and kill us. But it's just this sort of freedom that Deus Ex actually provides you, and it's really uh, refreshing. Especially considering games usually grant important characters immortality. But we can actually talk to people a few times to get more out of them. Which triad was Unatco targeting? We'll talk about that later. How was your graduation? I want to hear what happened. I wish I could have come. At the time, I could have cared less that Mom and Dad came to mine, but it was a good thing. The UN threw a dinner in honor of me, the first nano augmented agent. I didn't know that. Guess I must be old news. Dad made a toast. I don't know if you remember his old brown suit. A toast? That doesn't sound like our father. It was hard for him in front of the diplomats, but he savored every moment. Strange how proud he could be when so much was due to... our augmentations. Yes, he was proud. I believe that much. It was nice to have done something for him and Mom. I wish someone could have been there for you. I'm used to being on my own. One can be too self-sufficient, I'm coming to believe. So it seems that uh, Paul and JC have a bit of history with their parents. Apparently JC was left on his own. We'll find out more about that and holy shit! Okay. Well that's our first taste of action in Deus Ex. I'm not sure what that terrorist was planning on doing. He might have heard our gunshots when we were shooting down that bird. But, yeah, that's really weird. NSF everywhere, JC. Your orders are to shoot on sight. A UNATCO informant on the North Dock can get you inside the statue. Look for a bum. Identify yourself with the phrase, iron and copper. 
So our rather slow friend there that doesn't realise that Paul already briefed us on this fact. He is Alex and he works in the communications department at UNATCO, which is where we work. Uh, the United Nations Anti-Terrorist Coalition. That's what that stands for. And we are, that we've just revealed from uh, speaking with Paul there, we are actually one of the latest models of nano-augmented uh, agents. Paul was the first model of that. And uh, that essentially means that we can do things like shoot lights out of our eyeballs, and other sorts of cool things that we'll see later. It's essentially a um, sort of ability system. But this guy dying right here is pretty good for our tutorial, so if we right click dead body, we will get a whole heap of shit. 10mm ammo and a knife. That's some good loot actually. So we can then pick him up with right mouse again, and we can throw him somewhere when no one will find him. See ya buddy. Oh shit, he's floating to the top. Well, hopefully no one sees that. So, what you'll find is that every time you want to hide a body, you actually will end up searching them, and every time you will pick up a knife. The knife is probably the weakest weapon in the fucking game, so... Let's throw that away. The good thing about it, though, is it takes up one inventory slot, but we're about to get another melee weapon that takes up one inventory slot, which is a lot better than it. You'll see in a sec. Well, there it is, Liberty Island. If you want to make a covert approach, remember the Academy stealth course. Stay out of their field of view, walk slowly to stay quiet, and crouch behind cover. Or if you have to get your hands dirty, remember that a headshot is a lethal takedown. Alex gives us a bit of false information there. A headshot isn't really a lethal takedown, more the back of the neck. Uh, shooting them in the head actually does less damage than it does in the back of the neck. We can grab this crate real quick. Guards will be alerted. Whoop. Guards will be alerted if you make too much noise, so you want to try and not be so loud. You also want to stay out of their field of view. If they think they see something suspicious, they will run towards it. Uh, but they're pretty easy to evade if you stay hidden. And they have a pretty small field of view, honestly. You can stand right in front of them most of the time and they won't even notice. Alright, so, now that we have that weapon I was talking about, the baton, when you select a weapon in your inventory, you're given a whole heap of uh, information and stats about this. So. This is a hefty looking baton, typically used by riot police and national security forces to discourage civilian resistance. That basically means it's good for clobbering people over their heads, so mass of 10 pounds, it's not, not relevant. And uh, accuracy of 50% and a base damage of 7. Our crowbar, a crowbar, hits something or something with it. Repeat. Alright, so obviously this isn't the most serious game in the world. You will get some pretty good messages like that every now and again. But we'll just throw that out of our inventory for now. And we have the baton. So, what this does is it is actually, it tells you your skill there, this is a low tech skill. What the baton does is it knocks people out rather than killing them. And if we can hit them in the back with this, then they will actually be knocked out. Just wait a second, I'm about to sneeze. It's gonna... No. Okay. False alarm. So this crate here, we don't want to hit it where it is because we won't be able to reach what's inside it. So we'll just throw that down there. I love how the crate sounds when you throw it. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. You'd think a crate this big would actually make a bit more noise than that. So inside is a gas grenade. Which is pretty cool. Uh, I picked up a soft drink earlier. We can actually drink this to recover two health points, I think. It's not great, but if you carry a lot of them around with you, it can sometimes save you. 
but you really want to use either med kits or med bots for healing. So we'll just wait for this guy to pass. But yeah, that accuracy of 50% that you read in the stats for the baton, uh, that may sound ridiculous considering it's a close range weapon, but what that means in practical terms is that if you hit someone with this, there's a 50% chance they'll get knocked out, and there's a 50% chance that they'll just feel a little bit of a sting. So, you want to make sure you knock them out completely. Looks like that guy's heading that way. So... Let's play on a quick save, and be on our way. Here's some good looking trees here. Staying very sneaky. So that over there is the UNETCO base. This guy doesn't have anything on him. Let's get up and run. Run, 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 run. Alright. Hello, guys. Great bases under lockdown until the danger's gone, Agent Denton. Right. How are you guys holding up? UNETCO command made us pull back. I guess for Gunther's sake. What's the deal? We're ready to go in. No, we're gonna do a minimum force approach, aren't we? We're taking a minimum force approach. We're cops, after all. Ask me. I think we should frag them all. You trespass on UNETCO property, you get pumped full of lead. When due process fails us, we really do live in a world of terror. Thought you nanowogs were supposed to be badass killing machines. Guess I was wrong. Guess so. Some advice. You get out there, you're gonna have to tangle with some real sons of bitches. Best thing is to pick them off from 50 or 100 paces with a scope. I scored an extra one from a couple of thugs we dropped down by the dock. You can have it for 700 credits. I also picked up some 10 millimeter ammo and some crossbow darts. Say 200 for one and 60 for the other. Shouldn't you turn that stuff over to the quartermaster? Sure, I will. As long as command has the rest of us on parade drill, someone might as well put this hardware to use. Okay, so you'll meet NPCs throughout the course of the game that actually sell you things, and you can just buy them from the menu here. We don't want any of this right now. We could buy a 700 for a scope mod, which we could affix to our pistol or our crossbow, but it's a bit pricey, and... I don't have the 700 for the scope. Guess you'll have to go with that minimum force approach, huh? And I guess there's, there is a lot of uh, social commentary as well, you heard before Denton spewing this stuff about really living in a world of terror. Uh, it's very, it's very politically driven, uh, but it's not really in your face. I mean, you can not listen to anything that any of the optional uh, characters have to say, and you'll probably get... Uh, not as rich an experience, but the gameplay will work just the same without understanding the uh, nuances of the story. Welcome aboard, Agent. Thank you, sir. Well, I shouldn't be calling him sir, really, he's my inferior. So let's go back behind here, see what we got. Oh yeah! Another lockpick. Fuck yeah. Can't have too many of those. Oh, well, I guess 21's too many of those. Another crowbar, we don't need that. And a multi-tool. So this keypad here uses one tool to open. And this uses one pick to open. What we're gonna do is try opening it with our nano key ring. But we don't have the right code. Shit sticks. This little device here is what's called a nano key ring. It holds all your nano keys, and what that essentially means is it's a all-purpose uh, unlocking device. So you'll find these blue keys across the course of the game. They'll go straight into here automatically, and if you have the right key, it'll open the lock, but we don't. Okay, so what we're going to do... Oh, this baby is a security camera. Because we work for you, Natco, he's not too bothered with us right now. So we can ignore him. When we go into the keypad, it brings up a keypad, and you can type in whatever you want here, so... 
Ah, oh, denied. I guess we're not going to get it by guessing. So, I reckon what we should do is you need to take the sort of uh, approach that makes a lot of people uh, happier with the efficiency that you give it. So, we're going to lockpick this hatch and... Whoa! Hmm. Okay, we're going to open this hatch because inside it... And there you go, we get 70 exploration points. Pulse grenade. So that was some lock picking, and then we're going to open this with a multi tool. There you go. And we get more skill points. Fuck yeah. Tranquilizer darts. Security computer terminal. Alright, we can start using that. We can switch the lamp on and off. Duh. Denton like lamps. And what's this glowing thing? A data cube. Alright, let's read this. See what's on it. Attention night shift. Van camera system login. Same as old login. Satcom. New password. Unatco underscore zero zero one. P.S. We will beat you on dots on Saturday. Suckers. Well, if only Denton were playing darts, right? Yeah, I think he has a bit of an advantage, honestly. Med kit up there. I'll take that. So the secu security computer terminal. Alright, so what we've got here is we have our hacking up here. And we have our login. So we have to actually completely, on our own, log into the computer using the information that we got from the data cube. So, I don't think it's capital sensitive, but we'll see. And UNATCO001. So, when you're given the right login, you can uh, get into the computer, and you can have a look here. So, we can turn all these cameras off if we liked. Because these are all UNATCO cameras, they wouldn't really be bothered with us anyway. And um, what's this? You're telling me that the door outside can be opened just with the click of a button? Without the use of a lockpick? The fuck? And if a door can't be opened with a lockpick, then you'll sh it will show their INF, which means infinite durability, and door strength means if we can break it with a weapon like a grenade or... Everything was clear an hour ago. Then, boom! Yep, generally that's how terrorism works. So that is UNATCO HQ, New York, Liberty Island. Can't actually get in right now. And there's no nano key for it. It's locked. Alright, well, back into the action then, I guess. We can ignore that guy and that guy if we really wanted to. And run past them as well. Whoop. So that's the front entrance of the Statue of Liberty right there. But we can't really get into it right now because we don't have the key phrase, iron and copper. Oh. Be careful. The NSF has set up patchwork security systems here. Okay, so Alex is warning us of the security systems. We can see over there, there's a prod charger and what looks like either a multi-tool or a candy bar over there, but it's a bit risky to grab it. And there is in fact security bots around here. The NSF put a commercial grade security bot in this area. You can either avoid its patrol route or, if you're feeling lucky, try and take it out with the EMP grenades or explosives. I wouldn't recommend taking it on with small arms. So I guess a T-Rex would have a pretty tough time with those security bots, eh? This guy's looking right at us. That's alright, the uh, AI is fucking atrocious. So we can have a look in here. There's a crate in here. 
Door strength of 50 and uh, lockpick strength of 20. 40, I mean. And there's a couple of flares. <laughs> no, excuse me! There's a couple of flares on the ground here. Show you how those work. Whoa, hello security bot. That's what Alex was talking about. So we'll wait for this guy to go, then we'll go around and follow the security bot around the corner. Gotta be very careful. 